This is part 6 of the Madden 23 tournament. Round 1 is complete. Now it's time for round 2. The Sweet 16. Right quickly I want to say congratulations to the 16 teams that made it to the round of 16. And good luck to each of those teams. So in the Sweet 16 there will be 8 NFC teams and 8 AFC teams. The AFC East still has 2 teams remaining which consists of the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. The Jets and the Dolphins did not make it to round 2. In the AFC North, there are still three teams remaining, which consist of the Cleveland Browns, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Cincinnati Bengals. The Baltimore Ravens were the only team that did not make it in the AFC North. The AFC South still has two teams alive, which consists of the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts. The Texans or the Titans did not make it to round two. And in the AFC West, only one team made it out of four teams, and that was the Los Angeles Chargers. The Raiders, the Broncos... And the defending champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, did not make it to round two. The NFC East still has two teams left, which consists of the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. The Commanders or the Cowboys failed to advance to round two. In the NFC North, only one team made it to the Sweet 16, and that was the Minnesota Vikings. The Bears, the Packers, and the Lions were all eliminated in round one. The NFC South still has two teams alive, which are the Panthers and the Bucks. Which, by the way, both of those teams will be facing each other, so the NFC South will have one team in the round of eight. And the Saints and Falcons did not make it to round two. And finally, the NFC West still has three teams remaining, which consists of the 49ers, the Seahawks, and the Rams. The Cardinals were the only team in the NFC West that did not make it to round two. So now with all that out of the way, let's get back into the tournament. So here's the current bracket once again. This is just a summary of all the scores in round one. And the matchups you'll see in round two. And there you have group C and group D. First up will be group A and group B. Group A will still take place in AT&T Stadium. And group B will still take place at Lucas Oil Stadium. First up representing group A will have the 6th seed Los Angeles Rams. Taking on the 1 seed Philadelphia Eagles. And here we go. And round two in group A is underway. End of the first half, and so far the Rams are up by three. The Rams were up 17-7, but the Eagles were able to build up some momentum, and they tied the game up. The Rams just kicked the field goal before halftime. So we'll see what happens as the Rams do get the ball to start the second half. Update is we're halfway to the fourth quarter. Rams still have a three-point lead. Once again, the Rams were up by 10, and then the Eagles started marching back. The Rams do have the ball. It is first and 10, so we'll see what happens. Update with a minute 27 to go. The Rams are up by 6. However, the Eagles are striking in the red zone, and they need a touchdown if they want to take the lead. The Rams still have all three of their timeouts, so if the Eagles score now, the Rams still have a chance to go downfield and get a field goal. So let's find out what the Eagles do on this drive. And the Eagles, on the very last second, was able to get into the end zone, so the Eagles went 34-33. to what a game this was. The Eagles will be moving on to round three in the round of eight, and the Rams will be heading home in a very, very, very disappointing way. What a way to start off round two. Now switching gears, we have the fourth seed Seattle Seahawks taking on the two seed Jacksonville Jaguars. End of the first half, and it's been all Jaguars until now. The Seahawks did punch it into the end zone in the last seconds before halftime, making it a six-point game. The Jags do get the ball to start the third quarter. However, they better watch out because Seattle is starting to build momentum. Update with seven minutes to go. The Jaguars lead by five. The Jaguars did score in their opening drive in the third quarter but failed to convert the two-point conversion. The Seahawks did get a touchdown not too long ago and they got a chance to get another one. However, this time this touchdown could give them the lead. They're currently facing a third and three, so we'll see what happens. Update with a minute to go. The Seahawks did get the touchdown. And they successfully got the two-point conversion. The Jags did reach the red zone, but they got a costly turnover. It is 39 for the Seahawks. The Jags need to get a stop if they want to have any shot at this game. Update with seven seconds to go. The Jaguars did get a stop. And just like in the Rams-Eagles game, in the very last seconds, the Jaguars punched it into the end zone and they take the lead. The Seahawks have the ball, but they need the touchdown to win it. Can they get it? No, they do not. And the Jaguars have won 26 to 22. The Jaguars will be moving on into the Elite Eight in the Group A Championship to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. 
Time to move on to Group E as we'll have a battle of New York teams as the New York Giants will take on the Buffalo Bills. And yes, I know the Giants play in New Jersey, but technically they represent New York. All right, and round two in Group B is underway. End of the first half, and so far it's been all Bills as they lead 21 to 7. Now remember, in round one, the Bills were up 20 to nothing versus the Texans, and they almost lost that game. So we'll see if they don't have a repeat of the last round. The Giants are getting the ball, so we'll see what happens next. Update with eight minutes to go, the Bills lead by 11. The Giants had a chance to make it a one-score game, but they were denied, so they were forced to kick a field goal. The Bills are getting the football back. Still got plenty of time, so we'll see what happens next. Update with a minute left, and as soon as I hit the pause button, Josh Allen throws a 75-yard touchdown pass. Which now, if I'm not mistaken, has to be the longest touchdown pass in the tournament. The Giants did have another fumble, which led to another Bills touchdown. So the Bills are looking like they're moving on to round three, and as for the Giants... Just not their day today. So the Bills will get a 42-24 win. The Giants to get a garbage time touchdown. But the Bills will be moving on to round three. And they will sit back and watch the Chargers-Bengals game. As they will wait to see who their next opponent will be. In the last game in Group B, you'll get to see a dream matchup. As you'll see Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers take on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. End of the first half, and so far, Chargers lead 16-7. The Bengals scored on their opening drive, but ever since, they haven't been able to come off of anything. As for the Chargers, they're starting to pick up where they left off from their last game versus the Raiders, but they've only been able to find the end zone once, as they had to kick three field goals, plus they missed one. Second half's about to get underway. The Bengals get the ball, and we'll see what happens. Update with eight minutes to go, and don't look now, but here comes the Bengals. They were trailing 22-7, and now all of a sudden, we have ourselves a ball game. The Chargers are getting the ball back, so we're about to see what happens next. Update with a minute 40 to go. The Chargers took the lead back. Bengals have the ball with a minute 40 to go. They are facing a second and four. The Chargers' defense has been great all game. Will they be able to get one more stop and move on to play the Bills? Or did the Bengals have one more answer? We'll have to see. Here we go. 18 seconds left. The Bengals win the red zone. What's going to happen? Seven-yard rush by Joe Mixon. Seven seconds to go. Bengals need to get a field goal or get a touchdown. And they do get the field goal, which means we're going to overtime. Which also means this is our first overtime in the tournament. So here we go. Who's going to walk away with the win? Will it be the Chargers or will it be the Bengals? All right, quick update. The Chargers did get the ball to start overtime. They were able to march down the field, but they could not punch it into the end zone, so they had to kick a field goal. The Bengals get the ball. They either need a touchdown to win the game or a field goal to tie this game back up. The Bengals did get the ball, but they could not get a touchdown or the field goal. So the Chargers will win an incredible game. They win 28-25. to They will move on to the Group B Championship, and they will take on the Buffalo Bills in the Elite Eight. And there you have it, round two of group A and B is complete. We had some great games in this video. The team that scored the most points in this video was the Bills with 42. The team that scored the least points was the um, Seahawks with 22. The best game in this video, honestly, it's a three-way tie between the Rams, Eagles, Seahawks, Jaguars, and Chargers, Bengals. You know what, I'm just going to say that this was a tie because the Rams, Eagles, Seahawks, Jaguars, and Chargers, Bengals game were great games. Next up, you'll see Group C and Group D.